Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Free Rambo. Yeah. We're about to catch the loose. Yeah. Free, Free Cal. Free Cal. Fuck yeah, niggas, hope y'all niggas get yeah. the hell. I want wisdom like Solomon. Got a swagger like George Jefferson. Handle my matters with either violence or elegance. Fake nigga, I despise your presence. God created men all equal, but I'm better than you. Righteous rhetoric, measure every nickel, diamond, penny. Unquenchable thirst, I need plenty. Pussy power and fame. Got a nigga feeling like 07 Kanye. Rambo on the run, T money in the casket. Simon over those shit is getting wild, drastic. Send me. Re ready. We ready, we ready to kick some ass. Yo, yo, it's Jumpman T with Twisted Torch TV. I'm back again. Turn me up in your headphones. It's another movie going on. Six days. I got six days till I can sit on my couch and chill and watch the Atlanta Falcons. It's back to the season. Week one. In a, a, a season of 17 games, I can't wait to enjoy um, this Sunday. Watching all the football, but of course, the Falcons. Since it's six days, let's go ahead and get started with a Falcons preview. Let's see what the Falcons can do to beat these Eagles, or what they're expecting to do to beat these Eagles. With them having two weeks off to help rebuild their energy, we get their bodies right, work out a little bit more, and scheme... That's one thing you fans are forgetting. That's one thing that people outside the Falcons brace is forgetting. We had two weeks to prepare for the Eagles. So while we didn't get to a chance to see the starters like that play in the preseason, we had two weeks to prepare to see what we're going to do moving forward with these Eagles. We already know the Eagles have Jalen Hurts that's going to be starting, so that means he's going to be able to run a little bit as far as a QB. So we have to look forward to those scrambling. One thing I did pay attention to, Foyer, 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 linebacker. He switched from Will to Mike, and he knows how to blitz. He knows how to pass rush. He knows how to coverage. He knows how to tackle. One thing he said is that he's anxious to get out there and do these blitzing packages and see how QBs and offensive coordinators will adjust to this blitzing scheme. He knows he can run. He knows he can hit. He wants to see how he can call these plays and react quicker than he did the previous three years. So, Foyer, I like what you said. That was very impactful for me to read and listen to, brother. I do like that. See, that's what I like about these interviews with Arthur Smith. He's letting these players talk and say what they see with these schemes from day to day. Dean Pease has already stated it's going to be multiple looks. And Foyer just reiterated that in his interview. Another thing Foyer has also stated, we're going to do control chaos, as my boy Matt would say. They want to do control chaos. I like to see that because with control chaos, it's havoc, but you're doing it at a timely pace. You're doing it when it matters. Third down, third and five, third and eight, third and 12. You're blitzing. You're causing havoc. First and second down, you're going to do a little bit of blitz. You're going to sprinkle it, but you're looking for the run. One thing we have to see with Jalen Hurts, we have to make sure we keep him inside the pocket. We all seen he can throw the ball a little bit, but when he's in that pocket, he kind of looks nervous. He doesn't check for a second and third read. We have to make sure we shut down that first read for Jalen Hurts. We already know his first read is going to be those big tight ends with Ertz. Um, Ertz has always been good. He's a veteran. He didn't want to play for the Eagles at first due to all the situations they were having going on, but he's still there. He's still an impactful player. So we got to make sure we pay attention to where Ertz is going off the field, on and off the field. The linebacking core is our strength. Um, we will have safeties on, on the, the tight ends as well, but the linebacking core is our strength. I want to see how Deion matches up versus Ertz. I want to see how Foyer matches up versus Ertz. And hell, if we got to put Walker, Michael Walker out there, let's see how he lines up versus Ertz. The other thing we have to pay attention to is Devontae Smith. The Smith guy, as you know, he won the Heisman last year at Alabama. He is a shifty type guy. I want to see how we're able to keep him boxed in. He got to take some tackles, though. He only like 180, 175. He got to get tackled a couple times. And let's see if he can manage throughout this game whenever he catches the ball and gets tackled. If we pay attention to Ertz and Smith, we will be able to win this game. I can guarantee you that. Those are the two impactful players behind Ertz. Is, is Hertz 
And he's going to be running and scrambling. We'll see what he can do with that. But he has to know. We got speedy linebacker core. So you might want to pump your brakes on that, my brother, my brother. Let's pay attention to that. Let's switch to the offensive side of the ball. Hold on, hold on. Let's get back. AJ Terrell. AJ Terrell. You're going to have to match up a little bit versus Smith. Let's see how he does versus you because you know how to guard shifty type receivers and big body receivers. So let's see if you can take all that training that you learned from guarding Keenan Allen last year and pay attention to how Smith runs these in and out routes. He is crisp. That boy got their feet too. I ain't gonna lie. He got a little bit of feet on him. So let's see how he does versus AJ Terrell. And hell, if we got to, let's double team him a couple plays. Let's switch it up. Let's see how we can make sure we keep hurt in the pocket and nervous to make throws to these open receivers or to these receivers that's not open as we would like to have. Um, next, let's go back to the offense. Now let's go to the offense. Maddie Ice, we know how you're gonna get out. Um, as long as we got time to block, we're gonna make sure you're gonna get those plays. Left guard, Mr. Andrews has went out on IR. That's what we were expecting to have start that left guard position. In comes Jalen Mayfield. Like I said, I've said it on my channel already that I thought Mayfield was going to move to left guard anyway. So, let's see how he lines up. He's a big guy, 6'7". He loves to run the ball. He loves to get at um, block, get at uh, run stuffers, push them out of the way, and get to the next level. I want to see how you do, Mayfield. Make sure you keep your feet down. And when you got your arms in, stretch, move them. Move them. Don't let them. <laughs> I'm going to see you doing this. I'm going to see that cha-cha. I hope you... <laughs> you got that from the Miami Dolphins game and the Browns game because they was putting y'all to work a little bit. The uh, I told y'all the Browns front seven ain't no joke. And you saw that on one play in my face. <laughs> Mayfield, keep your hands up, baby, and stretch like you're bench pressing. Ah, get them off you. Don't let them get in, get in your uh, chest like that, bro. Get them off you, and you will make plays. I want to make sure you, Lynchum, get to the next level. Matt Hennessy, call out those reads because they do got a good front seven. That's what they got. That's all they got, a front seven. Not even a front seven, a front four. They have dynamic pass rushes. Hold on. I was doing this a couple times last week. I'm like, bro, I gotta get some water out here. Can't let y'all get me. But anyway, they do got a lot of pass rushers. And Fletcher Cox, he knows how to rush the passer. He knows how to get pressure. Bull rush. Make sure you pay attention to bull rush. All this line right here, they know how to bull rush. Him, Brandon Graham, and uh, Wolf, they know how to uh, bull rush. Make sure y'all pay attention to that. Get this run game started early and get Fletcher Cox tired. One thing about Fletcher Cox, he will sit down on a couple plays. So make sure you take advantage when Fletcher Cox is out the game. Bring the receivers in. Let's see how they do without Fletcher Cox on the field. Barnett, we know he comes off the edge. We know uh, Brandon Graham comes off the edge. We got to make sure we force them all the way to the outside. Don't let them, let Matt Ryan step up in the pocket. Force them outside. Create this as a line. Create this. And Matt Ryan will sit there and do this. That's all he got to do. That's all he got to do. Somebody will get open. Their back end is terrible. All they have is Slay. That's all we know is Darius Slay. And Slay at times can make mistakes. So you got to take, pay, uh, kind of you. You got to pay attention to that because he likes to jump routes. So set him up a couple times with those short routes. He might jump, stop and go. Stop and go. He can't guard C Red every play. Stop and go easily. Those are how you beat that type of coverage. If they're blitzing all the time, throw some screens in there. If they're getting pressure, do some ace back draws with Mike Davis, Cordell Patterson. Let's make sure we motion in and out with Cordell. Let's make sure we keep these backs fresh. Mike Davis, I haven't seen you, baby, so I know you eager and hungry. I saw your diamonds shining on NFL Network, so let's see how you do. I know you got the keys to, to drive the boat. Let's see you steer it. Let's see you steer that boat. Yeah, uh, you know you know my boy would say, let's see that boy, that, that, boy, that boat, that tide. <laughs> Code that be wild. But, yeah, let's make sure we keep that. In the fold as far as with this offense, man. Give Matt Ryan time. Let's set up that run game. And let's keep Fletcher Cox off that field. If Fletcher Cox is tired, I'm telling you, you're going to make plays. That's their number one player when it comes to defense is Fletcher Cox. If we have to double team, double team, I don't even care. 
Fletcher Cox can run a whole game plan if you do not double team him and take care of him first when you're going in on offense. I got to see that. We already know what special teams is going to be. Cordell, let's get some highlights. Let's get some good field position for Matty Ice. And when you come on offense, let's make sure we get these highlighted plays. I need to, baby. We what? We got to get a W. Because all the fans are already showing that they in, they, they flip-floppy. As, as slides do, they flop, they flip-flopping. So let's make sure we start this season right. Before we go to week two, when we got to play Tampa, let's make sure we start this season right, guys. I'm with you till the end. We just reached 400 subscribers. I appreciate all the fans once again. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video. Like, subscribe, and share the video. As, Mad, as uh, Madness would say, I got three words for you. Like, subscribe, and share the video. Appreciate y'all one more time. Hey, we got to get a win for the fans. We got to get a win for the Atlanta Falcons. We got to get a win for the city itself. Appreciate y'all. Might have Big Boy out there. Let's see what Big Boy do. He might bring that funk out there. I like the way you move. Da -da -da. I like the way you move. Yeah. Big Boy, bring that energy, boy. I need to see you, Pastor Troy, up top, chilling, making the fans get crazy. You know how we get out. Appreciate y'all one more time. Jumpman T, Twisted Torch TV. I'm back. You see the merch? I had to get the merch. Stop playing with Twisted. <laughs> Appreciate y'all, man. Jumpman T, Twisted Torch. I'm out. I can feel it in the air like beans. You were order. Normalize teaching your son and daughter how to load and shoot the pistol. Picasso is the